it's May coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Thank you for joining me, welcome to the video, and welcome to Fantasy Island, created by TardisRob88. Now, TardisRob is aka Blue Box Gaming, who is a new and up and coming YouTuber. I will make sure to leave his link down below, but I highly recommend going and checking him out. He also does Park Spotlights as well. And his level of confidence, just in his first few videos, is a lot better than mine was. So I believe that he has definitely got a future in YouTube. But, let's have a look at this park on the workshop, shall we? So, six mini parks, all in one. All individually themed. So, let's go and have a look at this park, shall we? So, here we are at Fantasy Island. Now, as you can see from the overview, this park is nuts. So, we've got a pirate section over here, a fairy tale section there, a Aztec adventure theme over there, a science fiction theme over there, horror theme over there, and then a western themed area over here. So, lots of different themes to have a look at. Let's hop into this park and have a look at one of the strangest parks that I've had to spotlight on this channel. So here we are at the entrance. I mean, what do I even say to this entrance? We've got bubbles, and then we've got Chinese lanterns, and then we've got the fairy tale witch's broth, and then horror pieces, and bamboo. It's just... Nuts, and, and it's on snow. It's like being back in the most impractical, unbelievable, unrealistic park in the world. Again. It's, it's just so bizarre. I mean, look at this. <laughs> this is awesome. So we've got a cowboy, we've got Robin Hood, we've got zombies, we've got a mummy, all um, in prison there. And then we've got the witch. Uh, pirates, just some skeletons in there. I mean, this is just crazy. It's just absolutely mental. But we come through the entrance. I really like this building, you know. It's nothing like massively flashy or fancy, but it fits the purpose. I actually quite like that. I like the trimming on it. I like the fact that you've used the glass as well and there's differing pieces there as well. It just seems to fit the theme of the park, the fact that you've used so many different pieces on the entrance building. I mean, nothing in this park is normal. Nothing really I can give stereotypical feedback on because a lot of it is supposed to be mental. But, right, which way do we go first? Do we go to the western first? and go right and then that way around or do we go to the pirate theme and go that way around let's go let's go left right so we've got a whirly rig just over there I can hear that going off so we've got fairy towers over there I mean this is nuts so we've got Tortuga Tortuga I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. I don't know. We've um, got a little bit of a choke point here. Um, one thing I had noticed when looking over the park is the paths could have done with being a little bit wider, potentially, because you've just got choke points everywhere. Um, and you're not short of percentage either. You're only on 53%. So on a PS4, that must still be about 80%. So you're not short of room. But So we've got the whirly rig over here. I like how the queue comes like over the water, like this. Maybe potentially would have been nice just to see a little bit more theming around the whirly rig, maybe rather than just kind of like placing it down and then sticking some trees around it. Even if you were like maybe to just change the colours or something a little bit, but... Right, let's come down here. Right, so beware. We've got a Skeleton Steve just hanging there. Poor Skeleton Steve. He never catches a break. I assume this must be the ride exit for the log flame, is it? I'm assuming so. Or is it... Oh no, it's just a walkthrough. 
just one that I don't think people would have any reason to use I don't believe maybe if you were to just pluck some viewing points up there or something uh, maybe just to try and encourage that gas flow potentially you might be able to get some guests up there then maybe because at the moment it's just serving no purpose at all the the guests have got no reason to use that path at all so nice scenery around here after having a quick look through this park there are some really unique things in this park some really unique things things i've never seen before but right so we've got the log flume here that is literally the shortest queue in the world Wow. Okay. I love what you've done with the station as well. Just using the in-game blueprints of the ship, but then putting it around the station, I think that's brilliant. I think that's really, really good. Now, because this is a little bit of a smaller park, we're actually going to go for a ride on the log flume. I don't always do that. Depends on like what my mood is like on that particular day. But I fancy a log flume ride. So let's go for it, enjoy! Yeah, really good blood flame. I like how it goes around the entire pirate area with the theming that you've got going on around. Had some good drops on it. 
I like the fact how it goes next to the fairy tale land as well to give you a little tease of what's upcoming in the park. I did really like that. One piece of feedback I am going to give. Now, I'm fully aware that this is now too late to change. It's just the way it is. But I think maybe for future projects is just build further away from that outside line. Because all this is unavoidable. You've got all this great big open expanse here that you can't do anything about because you built too close to the line. Just build like further away. This whole park, if we zoom out, it's not a big footprint, this park. So the whole park could have been moved up quite substantially. And then you could have like just hid all around the side with trees or terrain or something just to bring it all in, just make it that much more immersive. And because you've got the snow paint, you could have even like built some mountains or something as well with the terrain, built some like snow top mountains and things like that. So maybe just something for the future. Um, just be mindful of where you are building because in the back of my mind, as we were on that log flume, I just kept thinking, great big expanse on the left. And it was breaking the immersion for me a little bit. And also as well, maybe just a little bit more decoration on the station as well. I love this side. Love what you've done on that side. Fantastic. Maybe just carry something over and, and decorate this side as well. Like I say, percentage is not an issue for you. you you're still on 53%. So it's not like you can't come back and still do more to this park because you've got plenty of percentage left to play with so maybe just go around and just finish off maybe just a little bit more of the detailing but right let's hop out and walk down the exit down here now i'm not sure if there's any more rides down here or not i like that it's that you built that yourself Hang on. What? That's insane. That is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Now, I don't know if you know it or not, Rob, but there is. Now, let me just see if I can find it. Um, it'll be in here. It'll be in there um this i'm pretty sure let me just change that camera mode i'm pretty sure this has an organ um i'm pretty sure it does let me just um i'm do, trying to do this very 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 quickly because obviously people don't want to be sitting here watching this but i'm sure there's like um an organ sound Ah, distant organ. Right. And then... Maybe just put a couple of them. Now, I've got my volume turned down. Um, so you may not actually be able to hear that. Oh, you can. You might just be able to just faintly hear it if, if I shut up a minute. But yeah, anyway, you get the idea. So yeah, you could actually have some organ music in there, but that is that is amazing. Um, I've never seen anyone build an organ in the in the game before. That is absolutely fantastic and that's the little things that i was saying before earlier on there's just things in this park that i've never seen done before and that was one that i'd missed i haven't even seen that as i walked around earlier on so yeah absolutely fantastic work Let's just carry on walking down here i'm not sure if you can get to the fantasy area this way i don't believe you can no it just brings you down to more shops things like that down here. So all these guests just walking down literally just for the shop. No. Really? They must be. 
Yeah, I think they are. I think they're all walking all that way down there, literally just for that one shop. Is there something else in one of these buildings or something? No? Is there something in there? No. Okay, figure. I just didn't expect all the guests to walk all up there just for the sake of one shop. Huh. Right, let's walk back down here. Vandals. I love how the log flings over the top of us as we walk down here, you know. I just look up. I can hear the organ now as I walk past it. Me hear that sound effect. They're just the paths are so thin. Just, it's such a choke point. Even maybe if you were to just reduce the number of guests or something just to prevent this. But we come out of the pilot area. So area one of six done. And we come to Fairy Towers. With the night card in it. And we come through here. So I can see we've just got this little flat line here. What is with you in these small tiny queues? Your guests must hate you. What is the guest satisfaction? Nine, what? How is it 96%? How have you actually got 96% guest satisfaction when you've got the smallest queue lines in the world? That doesn't even make sense. So I've got Robin Hood over here firing his arrows. What's this queue line for? Right, so this is for the chair of plane. Carry on walking down here. I'm trying to make sure that I don't miss any of these little tiny amazing things that you've made because they're just so well integrated. So you've got the barrel on the carts here, you've got a food cart. I, I love them, they're a nice little touch. You've got the sleeping elephant according to Tommy CM. According to Tommy CM, they are elephants. We've got the Shrek walking to the lock thing. Let's just kind of walking down. Let's go through here. Right, so we've got a queue line here. Now this must be for the coaster. Yes, it is. So we'll go on the coaster in a second, actually. I don't want to go on the coaster just for a sec. I'll leave the coaster. I just want to carry on exploring. I love this little house. Is that an in-game blueprint? I'm not sure if that's a blueprint or not. Um, 94 pieces. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if that one's a blueprint. I honestly cannot remember. But if it's not, then that's amazing. Really nice little build. But, right. Nice building there as well. And we come up here. Uh, we're going to pause that before the train disappears. So again, just maybe just that tad little tiny bit more theming on the station maybe. Because the theming that you've got all the way around here with all these little houses and little cottages and things like that. Maybe if you were to even build the station up as some kind of like little fairy tale house or something. Or something along them lines. Just to break it up and like really bring it into the area kind of thing. Because... The station does kind of stand out a little bit, but let's have a look at the stats. So this is a kiddie coaster, so you don't expect it to have the best stats in the world. No, quite low, not surprising. Max speed of 43, that's quite quick for a kiddie coaster, but the G-Force is good limits. So let's go for a ride, enjoy!
so bit of a tricky one to give feedback on that I really enjoyed the entire first half could have possibly done with a tiny bit of smoothing on the first half but on the whole really good I liked the interaction around the whole fairy town um, I thought that was absolutely brilliant what lost it for me was I really liked coming up here I was like oh I really like this how it kind of comes up here around this big building here I loved that but then as soon as it started coming down it was just too fast way too fast all this could have been done with banking there was a lot of smoothing issues on the entire second half all this could have been done with being banked here possibly a um, bit of smoothing there it was just too fast and possibly too long as well for the ride it was that you're going for but the first half was fantastic first half was absolutely brilliant i really really enjoyed it i maybe just a little bit on the long side is all but the same as the log flume i like how it takes you around the whole area I really like that. Are you proper incorporated and like really gone to town on these entire areas? But let's pop out of here. No, that goes back down there, Matty. Go away. I don't think we missed anything in Fairy Town. Let's just have a quick overview. I don't think we did. No. We've got this uh, tower that we walked through here. Yeah. All right, so let's hop back out of here. Past the night. And now we'll come up to the adventure area. Oh, hang on. We've got a food court first. Or oh, have we? No, food court next. So, we've got jungle ruins. Guarded by the mummy. <laughs> who bows to people as they walk past. <laughs> right. So. Nice and immersive. In here. Water water feature love it i like how you can see the rides off in the fairy tale land as well you can see the dragon ride just going up the tower and then you can see that flat ride just over to the left i really like that and then we've got the i can never remember what they're called but one of them i can i can never remember what they're called i should probably have just had a click on it shouldn't i Right, so we've got an information kiosk here. I believe this goes off to a coaster, so we'll have a look at that in a second. So, right, here we go. Let's go down the fast pass. What is this ride called, Mai? No, that's Bamboo Hedging, Mai. Click on the ride. Click on the ride. No, that's a guest. Oh, my God. Right, overpower. Oh, that was hard work. Oh, dear. Wow, that was way too much effort just to try and select a ride. Let's hop out the exit. So yeah, I like that. I like how it's incorporated into the area, sorry. I, I realised I walked off and didn't even give any feedback. Yeah, um, I really like that. I like the way that you've incorporated into this entire area, the theming around it, the foliage. Yeah, great job with that. Nicely hidden as well, actually. You, you almost miss it. As you walk past, which I like. So this must be the exit. Yes, it is. Second, we'll walk past the ATM and have a walk down this queue line. So we've got a wooden coaster. There's not a very long queue. Again. Now I like this station. This station is not too bad. Maybe if to. The only thing I would possibly say is just put some more stuff down over the station just to cover that station up. Maybe just some flat roofing pieces or something like that just to cover that up. But other than that, no, great job. So let's have a look at the stats. So we've got green across the board. Very nice. And G-forces, really good G-forces as well. Very nice. So without further ado, let's go for a ride.
Well, that was a lot shorter than I thought it was. Behave. I can hear people sniggering. Um, yeah, really nice little coaster. A little tiny bit of clipping. You go through the tree, get decapitated. This is a steep climb as well. That is super steep. But other than that, really good little coaster. Quite nice and compact. Takes up quite a small footprint as well, actually. And unlike the other two areas, what did I say that? I was going to say, unlike the other two, it doesn't go around the entire adventure area. It doesn't, it doesn't. Maybe not quite to the same extent as what the log flume and the dragon ride did. Maybe. But, great theming all the way around it. Yeah, that was my favourite ride of the park yet. I enjoyed that. I like that. I like everything that's going on all the way around it. But let's hop out the exit, which is down here. And then through the temple. And I believe that's the adventure area done. So three down, three to go. Let's not walk down the queue line, mate. Order. I do like that little waterfall, by the way. It's a nice little water feature, that. So, we come out. Now, shall we have a look at the food court or go straight to Starport? Let's have a look at the food court, shall we? Uh oh. Uh oh, I can. The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! What's going on here? Um. Um. Can I, can I free them? Is it that bit? Oh my god! There you go. I helped. You had a bin blocking them all. That's what it was. Right, so, anyway. Got lots of shops down here. I like what you've done with the rocks. And the vines. And the weeds coming down here. That's a really nice touch. Maybe just a little bit slight more trimming. Around the actual building itself. Um, maybe some signs or something. The canopies just to go over the shops or something. Just to break up that building just ever so slightly. So maybe like a bottom trim. Maybe like a wooden beam. In between every shop kind of thing or something just to break it up just that ever so slightly but other than that it looks great i do love the overgrown look and feel of it and that waterfall is just pucker i love that waterfall you've done a really good job with that very tranquil oh, we come up here I'm not sure what this is all about. I'm not sure why you put all these entertainer points up here. I'm kind of not quite sure what's going on here, if honest. With having the food court there, I would be half tempted to turn this into like one big seating area, you know. Get rid of these viewing points, square all this off, have it as one big seating area, bring up the terrain here, and then hide it with trees. And then, like, have it as one big food area, possibly. You could maybe even flatten this down, you know. So, flatten it to here. Put some fencing there. And then you could even have people, like, kind of just looking over here. So, they could sit and have a, have a sit down and just look over kind of thing, maybe. Don't know. Just spitballing ideas, to be honest. But, right. Let's hop out of here and let's have a look in Starport. So we've got the aliens and the space dude just stood there. So grab your helmets. This is awesome. I really like this. You don't get to see many science fiction themes in Planet Coaster. So it's nice when you do actually see them. Very difficult theme to pull off. Which I think a while a lot of people avoid it as well. Because it's just such a difficult theme to pull off. Right, so I believe that's the coaster. So we're going to go... We'll do the coaster last again. Same as we did before. So let's go through the security beams. So we've got the Insanity flat ride here. 
Maybe just change the colour of it. Oh, oh, I say that. I don't know. Would you need to change the colour of it? Hmm. Don't know. On that one, actually. Not sure. Oh, that's the end of the path. Okay. And this is the exit for that. So. Let's walk down. Oh, is that all you can do? Hang on. Oh, wow. Okay. Right. That is literally all you can do. Okay. I didn't realise that. Right. So, let's have a walk up the queue path. This coast looks good. Nice station build. Nice detailing on that. Yeah, I like this building. Right. So, let's just pause it just before it disappears. Let's have a look at the stats. So we've got green, excitement, fear's a little bit high, nausea is also a little bit high, uh, max vertical G is, is quite high, well quite high, it's very high in fact. But without further ado, let's go for a ride. Did anybody else just notice the guests screaming, glitching out as we were going around that ride? That was really bizarre. It was really disconcerting actually as I was trying to like enjoy the ride and the guests are going ah and then like kind of just stopping mid scream. It was really weird. I don't know if that's going to come through on the video or not but I hope it does because that was quite funny. But feedback for the coaster. Now that was my favourite coaster yet but it probably required the most work at the same time it did require a lot of smoothing um some of the inversions did seem a little bit maybe on the unrealistic side i think the whole thing just needed slowing down if honest the lift climb was i think too quick i think that needs slowing down maybe to about three miles an hour potentially and then, I don't know. I think a lot of it is just smoothing, to be honest. I mean, even as you kind of like just watch it go around, it looks very quick, even as you watch it go around. So this final corner here was very quick, needs banking. And then coming into the station, all down here needs one big brake run, just to slow it down before it comes in. But despite all of that, that is still my favorite ride of the park. I really enjoyed the idea behind it. It was a perfect ride choice for the sci-fi area. And the theming around here was awesome. Some really good terrain work around here as well. So yeah, good job. So, let's hop out to the exit down here. Right. So, we've got two areas left. So we've got the horror area and the western area. I tried to think, man. So many people. So many people. Right, so we've got the Cactus Plains and the Dark Forest. Now, there is one thing in the Dark Forest in particular I really want to show you guys because it's absolutely amazing. So I'll make sure that I don't miss it. What's going on down here? Ah, right, I've got a staff room. This maybe just looks potentially a little bit unfinished, maybe. I don't know. It just feels slightly unfinished around that, maybe. Maybe that's just me. Right. So, this is the Helion Ring, which is on the side there. So, Satan's Ring. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
Yep. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> yeah, we really well done. Yep, yeah, good ride. <laughs> um, where's the exit? How do I get off? Um, there we go. Right. Compose myself. <clears throat> right. So, got some nice decoration down here. I will, of course, make sure to have a look at this park at night as well, because some of the night lighting is fantastic, especially this area. I love what you've done here. Where you've just elevated that and you've just put the benches up here. I absolutely love that. Just little tiny touches like that. Really unique little things. It's, it's simple, it's effective, but it works. I think that's fantastic. Not sure why I'm so impressed by something so simple, but yeah, great job with that. Right, so we've got a queue line here for the tower. Again, I would potentially just say it's the wrong colour for the area what you're going for. Um, you could still potentially use the ride, but I'm not sure why it would be red and yellow and white and blue it just doesn't seem to fit the horror theme if honest but this is what I wanted to show how amazing is that now let's just bring up the hood so all this is individually made with windows and curtains and doors two different wheels going in two different directions We've got the spiders that are pulling the carriage and then the witch that is electrocuting them. That is absolutely amazing. I didn't even... I missed that. We've got a skeleton hanging on at the back. Just deceased. I missed that when I looked at this before. That is absolutely brilliant. I want to see more of these. Please, Rob. More things like this. Because your little set pieces are absolutely incredible but uh, I, I think Chrissy who has sat next to me um, maybe one item for your smaller showcase items do you think yeah she's nodding uh, there's that and then the organ did you see the organ they built as well yeah so two little items for Chrissy to show on her channel as well for the smaller item showcases because they do deserve to be looked at by as many people as possible because they're fantastic so we've got deadwood now do you know what i'm actually regretting my life choices right now i think that we should have looked at this entire area at night you know backtrack backtrack so here we have the dark forest and we're going to explore this area at night there we go I'm, I'm sorry, I can't do the Satan's ring again. I can't. I'm, I can't actually. Right, yeah, just keep walking. That is awesome. It really pops at night, this area. Really stands out. See, I like the lighting on the side of that light. I wonder if that's maybe potentially why you went for that. Maybe. Okay. So the carriage, just the lighting around this carriage as well looks awesome. And you've got all the, it looks like it could fly as well. It looks like a magical one. So, this looks so eerie and atmospheric. Just absolutely superb. Right, so Deadwood. So let's pause it before it goes off. Look at that for a pause shot. You've got lightning over there. You've got the pyrotechnics that are going off. Wow. I think my thumbnail is going to come from this ride somewhere, you know. Because there's some great sight lines around here. I love that. Now I know that Rob is entering the next console contest that we are doing which is a Halloween one 
and if anything like this is what you're planning then it's going to be amazing because you've just absolutely nailed this atmosphere in here this is some of the best horror theming i've seen done in the game i love it even just like the ivy on the station just nice simple little touch but it just adds to it but anyway let's have a look at the uh, stats shall we so not quite green across the board but not far off g-forces again a little bit high but i i've gone past caring I, I just want to get on this coaster because it looks ace. So, without further ado, enjoy. So the theming and the idea behind this ride is absolutely amazing. You're so enclosed and involved in this ride as you're going around as it tells a story. It's amazing. One thing I have noticed throughout the park is you seem to have this very same idea of your lift hills. So you're going up into a sharp turn right downhill. And you seem to have done that on pretty much every single ride in the park. To be honest, you've had a big lift hill followed by a drop down to the right. Not sure why they're all following the same pattern. Once again, it did require quite a lot of smoothing. Once again. Um, I know that this was quite an early park that you did. So I know that you would have learnt a lot more since doing this. And future parks that you would have done, I imagine you would have learned from this one and they would have gotten smoother and more consistent as you went. But I really enjoyed the experience. I enjoyed the ride, just like I say, it just does require a bit more smoothing once again. But let's hop out the exit, which seems to go through a tree for some reason. So we're going to walk through the bush. Stop it, mate behave oh, dear D I don't know what's going on with the spotlight I genuinely don't it's just been pure filth it really has right and we'll have a look at these shops and then we're back here so let's just have a quick overview of the area so we've got the one last area left to go which is the western area so I mean as we're here we may as well just have a quick look at the night viewing haven't we may as well so, all the areas all lit up differently for their respective themes. Yep. Yeah. Not too overdone. Not too underdone. Tactful. Yep. Yeah. Nothing else to add for that. Great job. I like the lighting around the food court in particular. I think that's really nice. That's my favourite lighting. Oh, well, no. But the, my favourite lighting is in the haunted area, obviously. The haunted area just looks incredible at night. But, right, so we'll hop down here. Let's swap it back to day a second. Right, and we come to Cactus Plains, which is the final area of the park. So. Right, what's this queue line for? Is that for that flat ride? I believe it is. So, nice theming all the way around here again. Just tactfully done. And we've got the brain flat ride here. I think that would have been better in the horror area, personally. It would have made more sense for it to be in the horror area. Cash only. No gold teeth. <laughs> so, that's the hotel. I like the theming around here. That's one thing that you've done really, really well, actually, is each area is 
done really well themed. They're so distinct with the theming that you've gone for. So your pirates, your adventure, um, horror, sci-fi, western, you've nailed it. Each theme is completely unique and each area feels like its own different park. It really does. Queue here, so let's just pause that quickly. Just the one little car in there, so this is different. So let's have a look at the stats. So not again, not quite green across the board. Good G-forces though, really good G-forces. So let's go on the final ride of the park. Enjoy everyone. I'm so pleased that we went around the park in the direction that we did because as we've gone further and further around I've enjoyed it more and more and I think the quality of the rides has gotten better as well. Once again the ride did require smoothing that's just a general consensus across the board pretty much every ride needs quite substantial smoothing but I again as the with the horror ride, I really enjoyed the theming of this. Now, I'm pretty sure this is an in-game blueprint. I'm pretty sure it is, but you've incorporated a ride all through it. Now, I imagine that would have required quite a lot of editing of the blueprint to be able to do that and to be able to get this ride to weave in and out of it. And I think that was absolutely fantastic. I think it was such a nice, unique little ride yeah absolutely fantastic it's not something i would ever thought of for western area and um, you've even done terrain work around here as well so absolutely great job i really enjoyed that mm, we've got these great big trees here that's one thing i didn't actually look at was the foliage around the park to see like if it was all different so obviously you've got like the western tall trees there with the um, cactuses and then we've got obviously the dead trees over there yeah you, you've actually done different foliage and if different every area one thing i hadn't noticed actually so nice little attention to detail as well i really enjoyed this park i think obviously i know i did have feedback with regards to the coasters and things like that the only other real advice i would give is maybe the transitioning between areas maybe because what you've done for each area is just lift up the terrain in between each area and i think maybe just a little bit more could have possibly been done potentially especially like here for example even even if it was just paint tool or foliage or something like that just something just to break up them areas a little bit more kind of thing rather than just lifting up the terrain solely and calling that it as a divider but other than that i really enjoyed this park certainly one of the most unique parks i've ever seen done and i believe you are actually working on fantasy island 2 and fantasy island 3 as well so i'd be fascinated to see them as well to see kind of what different themes you can come up with and how you can break up these areas a really really good job well done rob i like that a lot and 
thank you as well Rob who will also be doing a spotlight on one of my parks he said so I'm actually really excited for that so as I said I will make sure to leave his link down below so make sure and go and check him out give him a subscribe he is a new and upcoming youtuber so all the support would be much appreciated but thank you ever so much for watching everybody don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new please also consider joining my discord as well I'll leave the link down below but stay safe, take care, look after yourselves, and I will see you soon for more Planet Coaster content. Goodbye, everybody.